Hi there everyone, my name is Preetam and I welcome you all to this channel. Today I'm super excited because today I will be doing unboxing of my latest GPU that I bought for 1440p gaming or even you know all the tasks that are related to this particular resolution because this card is ideal for 1440p resolution I would say. Um, you can obviously buy more expensive or you know higher variant of it if you really want to enjoy 1440 resolution so what make this card so special so first of all it comes with 12 gigabyte of vram which is very important guys so for the time being i believe this card is one of uh, value for money card where you can invest on and this one going to give you a good performance for upcoming years and do not come with any fancy stuff for example rgb lighting i do not prefer it i just want value performance and minimalistic look so uh, let me just quickly open it and there we go you can see here the beauty and in this box here you will get this graphic warranty card a quick start guide and this card i don't know what does this mean um, although it also comes with this qr code i need to explore what exactly this means and one thank you card for purchasing this gpu now uh, let me take this out Okay, so this is how this card look from the front. Here we have got these two huge dual pan and a huge radiator that will ensure that this card remain cool. On the top hand side, here you can see this PCIe connector, which is of eight pin. And then um, on the back hand side here, you can see this GeForce RTX branding. And then we require to remove this film before use. So let me quickly remove it. This card also comes with three display port, which is this one. And I really like these dummies because um, if there is no dummy, then the dust can go inside, especially when you are living in India. So here we have got three display port. So I'm gonna use two display port and then I'm gonna plug these dummy back to these HDMI and display port. Now I also need to remove this film as well. And if you want to know its spec, then as I said before, it comes with 12 gigabyte of VRAM. If we talk about its base clock, then it have a base clock of 1920 megahertz. If we talk about the memory bus, here you will feel slight disappointed because now it comes with reduced burst width of 192 bit. And obviously it comes with GDDR6X memory type. And if we talk about this interface, then this is PCIe Gen 4, which means that in order to get optimal performance, you require at least PCIe Gen 4 slot. So that's all about its spec. If you want to know additional spec, then you will see here in the screen. Now let me quickly install it. I already took out this PCIe 8 pin connector cable, which will power this GPU. Okay, so now let's install it to our system. Now let me turn this system off. And there we go. Here we can see this PCIe slot. So basically this is Zen 5. Also you will see that this slot is also now I'm going to insert this card inside. Okay, so this is how this card now look. Now all I need to do is connect this PCIe supply to this card. So let me quickly insert this here. Uh, 
and another one will go to power supply since this power supply is modular that's why you are seeing that I am able to make a link later on now let me connect this PCI connector to my power supply maybe in your case it is already connected but this power supply is modular so that's why I need to connect it okay so now we have successfully installed this GPU to this system now let me close this now the only thing I need to do is I need to connect my monitor SDMI or DP from here not from the previous port that was connected to integrated graphics so that's all guys from my side in this video if you want to buy this gpu then i will be providing the buying link in the description of this video and if you like this video then be sure to subscribe to our channel for such content and i will see you soon in my next one till then you take care and bye bye